Snow is falling, wind is blowing. We got ourselves a good old fashioned nor'easter right now. And depending where you are, it's still going to be coming your way. Where Brian, where Ryan Brenton is, we are smack dab in the middle of it. Rhino's outside in Portland right now. Hey, bud. Hey, Lee, good morning. Uh, we've got some snow falling, but I have to be honest, I think it's starting to mix with a little bit of sleet as it's lightened up. That's something we've been talking about the last couple of days. Uh, the snow really depends on the intensity in a lot of these storms. And right now it's kind of a sl snow sleet mix. Look behind me. This is High Street and Congress. Uh, and you can see we've got some uh, motorists out here. They're heading to work perhaps early this morning. And if you have to get out and head to work, the road crews have been out doing the job. But the one thing is the wind continues to whip the snow back onto the roads. So it is a multiple pass type of storm. By the way, the snow was pretty light and fluffy through much of the first half of the storm in this part of the state. Uh, but now that we're getting this sleet mixture, it may start to weigh it down a little bit. So the sooner you can uh, clean it up, uh, you might be better off in some respects. I want to show you some of the snow totals. Our weather watchers doing the best they can. It's really hard with this wind whipping everything. But we always suggest you take several measurements and average them. And we have several spots coming in around nine inches. Kennebunk, uh, West Falmouth, Cape Nettick. Also a report of around seven inches in Hollis. That's a few hours old now. And about six inches in Yarmouth. So most places in between that six to nine inch range. And along the coastline, the very heaviest of the snow is done. That's now worked inland. So places like the Oxford Hills, the Belgrade Lakes, Lewiston, Auburn, that's really where the worst of the snow falling is right now. But I want to show you the little intersection over here. It's a good example of how the snow will just blow and drift back onto the roads even after the uh, plows go by. So this is going to be one of those mornings where you take it easy, take it slow. But we are Mainers. We know how to get through nor'easters. We've been through plenty of them before. We're live this morning in Portland. I'm meteorologist Ryan Breton, News Center, Maine.